Ciao guys, I'm Woody here, so it's been a little while actually, but I'm back, I'm back here. I didn't post many videos because I had a lot of stuff going on with my life. I started a new job, so of course, like, it's very, very hard to find time for uh, YouTube too. I really missed it, to be honest, so uh, here I'm back. I was like, ah, I gotta get a video, it's a two week, and now we're here. Today I saw a Reddit post that is such an amazing thing and it's about Elite Dangerous. Uh, you all know that I really love Elite Dangerous, I play it a lot, I use my others usually, but there's something particular now. So, a guy called Daniel Friesnel, Friesnel, Friesen, Friesen, Daniel Friesen, pretty much, uh, did something just unbelievable. So, he created a mod to play Elite Dangerous, not just with the others, but also with your motion controllers and you're gonna be able to assign buttons and put them all in the cockpits and stuff so it's very very interesting and I wanna check it out for sure because there's something that I wanna try so without further ado let's move inside the computer right now and uh, let's see together how to do it and if it is worth it or not I'm pretty sure it is because it's completely free and open source so uh, this guy will update it a lot because he did it for himself to start so let's get into it these reddit posts blew up so be sure to click on a like up uh, whatever uh, you have to do uh, because this guy needs a lot of attention so let's get started and let's see how to do it and here we are after a few days because the first version didn't work for me because there were some settings that they had to change and they fix everything so uh, you can already see how uh, serious the work is doing right now Dentman and um, so let's get to the point right now and let's see how to do it first thing we have to do is to install VJoy this is an emulator pr uh, pretty much like a driver that is gonna create a substitute joystick in the application they, they don't have it so uh, what we have to do is to go to this page I'm gonna leave the link in the description below and just click on download when we're gonna download it um, the download is gonna come here we're gonna have that in the download page over here what we have to do is just to run it and install it and then to open configure j v joy over here we give the permission of course and over here we have to make sure that everything is selected the pov add switch will be on four direction and the number of buttons we can put it to 32 just to be sure um for future stuff and whatever but also the one uh, is completely fine make sure that everything is selected here and uh, this thing is enabled at this point we just freeze it and we leave it there and we have to download another file that is going to be the one in the release that is the elite vr cockpit 0 0.2.0 if there's gonna be a future release even better because probably it's gonna have even more fixes and uh, this one is interesting because it had the uh, grip button toggle uh, so we don't have to keep on the gripping button every time and it fixed the problem that was uh, that I was having of, uh, about the no custom binning file uh, that I don't know why I kind of added but maybe was an old uh, building file over there so it was creating a problem so at that point what you have to do is just to open the file that I put over here in Elite Dangerous VR Cockpit and open the Elite VR Cockpit also before to do that just let's start Steam VR so we have our uh, thing running then we can start with the Elite VR Cockpit.exe and then um, we open it and it's gonna load on unity that the program is made for and all this stuff they should be checked if there's an error probably uh, there's something about the binning be sure to be in the last version at this point what we have to do is just to grab our ACC Vive put it on our head for now and go on Elite Dangerous and start Elite Dangerous and here we are in Elite Dangerous so now uh, what we're gonna have to do is to don't use yet VR because we're not gonna be able to see our mouse inside VR but as you can see um, we have here the toggle and the stuff that is added with uh, this new program so what is suggest to do is to go in a training mission so we don't mess up on our game and the basic flight is fine and we jump in and we start with the configuration the binding of all 
our controller. Okay guys, so here we are in the game. The first thing we have to do is to press both the menu buttons together for some seconds. So we're gonna reset the position. Here we are to have it like our hands exactly in the position where we should. And here we can see the menu that we're gonna use in a second. And here we have the travel and the joystick over here. And you can see the name when you get on it. But first thing we have to do is to assign the buttons to this. So we have to use our mouse and go on option and go on controls. I already assigned it in custom. Uh, gonna do it with you together. So. We start with fly rotation and we have to assign the different axes. So what we have to do is to assign the yo, that is this movement, the roll, that is this movement, and the pitch, that is this movement. And we are gonna do that clicking over here with the mouse and then in the game grabbing the joystick and doing the movement. So like this and you can see we have a joy RZ. We have to put it in everything in regular, not on inverted. So let's go with the roll. So we grab it again and let's roll it. Let's roll it. And uh, and then we have the pitch axis over here. So we do the same and pitch. So we have all three. What we can do now is the thrust. So the thruster, no, sorry, the throttle, the throttle over here, the Z axis will be on the throttle. So with the left one, we grab the throttle and we use it. And here we have it assigned also that for regular. And then we have also a lot of buttons like we can use the trigger to the, make the fire, the second fire with the menu button, or we can also use our trackpad for the movement in the menu or to assign like a uh, changing. And we have the movement with the swipes so grabbing and using the swipes or clicking on the different angles and that will work too. For now, let's uh, focus on uh, the other part of the HUD. So let's make it simple so you can personalize whatever you want. Let's go on resume and now we are in the ship. So let's try right away. Let's grab the throttle and uh, let's go up. And as you can see, it works very well. And then let's see about all the other movement. We are in the training, so we'll take time a little. Ask him to pitch. So we grab and we pitch. As you can see, it's very useful to put it down on the chair and do like this if you have a chair with, the, with that part. And we are net the roll. Good job, Commander. The sensibility is very good. Of course, it's not like having an Otas, but it's better than nothing. Yo, let's try the yo. The yo is online and it works. And now we can try to fly it a little. And as you can see, like uh, it's totally working. It's pretty precise, actually. It's not, as I said before, like an Otas, but it's for sure better than uh, better than the joystick for immersion. And then the great part over here is the part that is the best one. When we open this using our trigger, we're gonna have this whole thing of common. As you can see, it's a little laggy, but who cares for now, it's the first release. And we can just uh, grab what we need with the with clicking so uh, as you can see we have uh, the system the engines and the weapons we can put it there and then we grab them from here and we put it wherever Let, let's go a little on the back let's use again the menu buttons okay so we can grab them and put them wherever we want over here so uh, let's do engine shields over here so like in the regular one okay and then we can try uh, we don't have many things here so the art point are not gonna work for sure but we can put the art points over here or maybe it would be fantastic here we go and uh, the deploy the landing gear why not 
So let's put the landing gear on top because I can see that it should be here with maybe some, uh, blah, 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 blah. I don't know, the, 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 the chaff, the cargo, the cargo too should be there for sure. So we put it there. The cargo doesn't have uh, anything assigned, so that's why. And if we have to remove it, when it's red, means that it doesn't have a, a button assigned, so we have to go in the menu and assign a button. And then it's gonna grab it by itself. We can leave it over there in the trash bin and everything is gonna disappear. So let's go, let's start. Let's see if we can deploy. We don't have it because we are in the training. Let's give more power with the trigger to the engine and uh, some to the weapons. Okay, here we go. So let's uh, go with the throttle and uh, let's fly to the objective that is down there. Whoa. This works so well, guys. That's very, very nice. And it's amazing, like, uh, look at that. I can uh, use uh, the landing gear deployed, landing gear attracted, and everything is in my ship, like, uh, like it will be, <laughs> if I will be really in Elite Dangerous. And that's just amazing, all the thing you can do. Uh, then we, we can start to use also the other buttons to so assign uh, the stuff to go in the menus would be perfect. It would be nice to have a pointing uh, team. Uh, we don't have it yet. Anyway, this is the demo. We just arrived to destination. Let's do some rolling. Woohoo! Let's fly by to the tower. And here we are. The training is done and uh, let's go back. And here we are back, so I hope you enjoy it. This project for me is just amazing because it's very nice that we're gonna be able finally to uh, like really move in our cockpit instead of just sitting with our others, but also interact with everything in the ship. Uh, we're gonna be able to personalize everything so everyone is gonna have a different cockpit for sure. And um, it's very, very nice the commitment that Dent Man is putting on uh, this project. And I'm sure that this project is gonna get even even better with time because there's it's a lot of stuff going on on the GTAB right now where there are like, well-known issues, it's always responding to the people that are right in there. So if you're gonna get part of development, if you're gonna get part of the process, you can just hit him up over there or on Reddit where you're gonna be able to find him too. Anyway guys, this is not perfect. There are a lot of bugs still, but it's just a nice try for now and it's already enjoyable. Sometimes it crashes, sometimes uh, it starts to go very, very slow, so you have to restart it. Uh, but overall, like, uh, it works. It works and so it's completely, completely fine and it's completely free, so why don't to try it? Anyway, guys, I'm gonna be in two weeks at OC5, so if you want news about all the stuff going on with the uh, Oculus, be sure to subscribe and it was very, very nice to be back on in front of you guys because I kind of missed this. Uh, two weeks has been a little too long. And um, that's the end. So if you liked the video, like. If you didn't like the video, dislike. Subscribe to the channel for more about VR and tech in general, like you said, like 10 seconds ago. And uh, I see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching again. Ciao.